Oh god. Whoa! Shit! He came out of no- he came out of like freaking nowhere. Where was he? Was he just waiting here? Just like trying to scare anyone who popped along? Maybe he thought it was like Bob's birthday because I noticed like he th he came out here, right? And he didn't shoot me instantly. I think he was like, oh, got you, Bob. Oh, fuck. That's actually someone we need to kill. Uh, shoot him. <laughs> Gotta throw that fireball. No, man. No. I think it's for you. What? Why can't I walk? Oh. What the? I'm sorry. What? Where exactly did that? freaking imp thing come from it was on top of my head and it's like was I was the reason I wasn't able to move because of that that's just odd I need PDA clearance shit all right oh shit I think I remember this from like some of the footage that I've seen of this game across the ages uh, I think this is the one with the crates oh god it is yeah in order to do this you need to pick up the crates oh god this is just okay hold on one second Stop that! And you. Who the hell is shooting? Who else is shooting over here? Oh, it's you! No, cut that out. And you, stop crawling, you're being creepy. I don't like that. Any other monsters up here? Yes! Jesus Christ, I'm just trying to move my freaking barrels. I'm trying to get my Donkey Kong on, and you guys are like, no, we want to shoot you. Isn't this so horrifying? No, it's, an, it's annoying. Okay, now, now we got that done, let's just move this over the barrel. Now what you want to do here is uh, you want to line this up onto the barrel, but it can be sort of weird to try and judge the distance, so if you want to get it over and you want to make sure it's over, just line up the shadows rather than the actual thing. Um, now is that lined up in terms of like the other perspective thing that's not left and right? Um, oh, time to figure out, let's put it down. No, it's not. Okay. Let's move it back. Now, down. Nope, that's that's still not. Jesus Christ. Like, you'd never experience anything like this in the original Dooms. This is, like, one of the main reasons why I don't, like, this sort of stuff is why you I don't like it as much as, like, can I just transfer it? Okay, now i got to close it. Um, this is why I don't like this game, like, as much as the original Dooms. In the original Dooms, you did not have to fucking control a computer to pick up a barrel to transfer it to an incinerator. This is just like... Oh my god. <sighs> this game just really just doesn't feel like a Doom game. I feel like they were in the process of making a Doom game, and then they were like, shit, we don't actually really want to make a Doom game, can we make something else then? They were like, ah, sure, why not? And so they, in the end, they were like, let's just continue using the Doom assets, call it Doom, but make an entirely different game. <sighs> He was- Oh god, what the fuck, man? Anyone else? No? Good. Piss off. Um, alright, gotta move that back. There we are. Nope, that didn't- that was not enough. I thought that was more than enough. Oh, oh, lock. Sweet. Now close. And... That didn't do fucking- Why are you lifting? Oh, you could just fucking- Ah. Uh, okay, now, all the way down. And very nice, very nice. Anyone else gonna come along since I've done this? No. All right. Yeah, but anyway, um, the whole uh, creating a new game out of having old assets from trying to remake an earlier game that actually was something that Rare did. Originally, they were going to make Banjo Three. No, no, sorry, I apologize. They were originally going to make uh, a Banjo Kazooie. HD remake for the original Xbox, uh, much like how they did it for Conker's Bad Fur Day, and then they decided, um, well, Conker's Bad Fur Day sold like piss, so rather than remaking, um, rather than remaking uh, Banjo Kazooie, since it's probably not going to sell much like uh, Conker's Bad Fur Day on the Xbox, I assume they assumed it was because uh, because of the like the general market isn't there for uh, platformers on the Xbox. It, they that's a much more shooter orientated genre, or platform rather. Alright, close that. Uh, I, so they were like, well, we gotta make it for, we gotta use these assets somehow, how are we gonna do it? And they were like, well, how about we wait until next gen for the Xbox 360 and make a platformer on that plat, on that platform, I guess. Uh, that sounds weird saying platform so many times there. 
yeah, so they were like, okay, let's just uh, make Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts instead of the Banjo-Kazooie 1 HD Remake. So, yeah. Don't tell me to pick up the pace, screw you. Um, yeah, so, if you've ever wondered why they made Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts, blame the poor sales of Conker's Bad Fur Day and uh, them wanting to use the assets that they had. Like, that's why if you play the actual game, it seems sort of like, um, oops. It seems sort of like, oh fuck, that actually worked! <laughs> I type in one, two, three, and it actually works. Wow. Jesus Christ, I did not expect that. Um, platform, proceed with caution. Uh, what? Platform locked in race position. Oh, okay. Huh. Right, yeah, I did not expect that 1, 2, 3 to actually work. Wow. <laughs> um. Oh, maintenance key 4. Sweet. Oh, Jesus Christ, not so sweet. Not so sweet. That's sweet. So, yeah, that's a little fun fact for you if you've ever won. So, if you ever have, like, trivia night for Banjo Kazooie and Rareware and stuff like that, uh, now you can, uh, well, answer it very well. As long as it's just about that question. Anything else, and it's like, well, I got no idea. Yeah, yeah. Oh, God. I need to actually go back and pick up that health. Come on, cut that out. Stop being... Hmm. Are they technically alive? I mean, they're like... I don't know what you would call these people. Are they alive? Because, like, they're sort of dead. Like, the literal name for one of the enemies in this game is zombie, so I guess they're undead? Reanimated. Yeah, stop being so animated, I guess. Since, uh, alive, technically, isn't right. Oh god. I need to have some space. Is that an arrow? Oh no, it's just trying to spawn something. Stop being alive. Is one, two, three gonna work for this one? Wow! It's my lucky freaking day. What the hell is a cell? And why would I need one? Seems curious. Alright. Where are you going, boy? Oh, jeez. They're going everywhere. So is that guy and that one. <laughs> oh, my goodness. That was intense. Well, it was intense for like about five seconds. Then I killed them all. Then it wasn't so intense. You know what? I'm going to use my, uh... Yeah, I'm going to use... Holy shit, I got a lot of freaking ammo for this thing. 600 bullets in reserve. Nice. Not so nice being hit in the face. That's rather rude. Oh, hey, you opened this door for me. Thank you. Is there a monster beside of me? Okay. There we go. Jesus Christ, bullet sponges, my god. Oh. Gotta work towards that achievement of punching people. Stop that. Hopefully it's, like, not in a row, because otherwise I'll never get it. Ooh, what's this? Oh! A chain gun! Horror, folks. Horror. Are you scared yet? I hope so, because as we all know, chain guns are pretty much the perfect example of horror. Never before has this chain gun ever been so horrifying. I mean, it's horrifyingly awesome, sure, but I wouldn't exactly call this game horror. My god. Uh. Oh, small cells. What the hell are those things? Hmm. Maybe it's a new weapon. I don't know. Never got it then, if it is. Where am I going? Oh god. Um. Right, well, I guess I'm going back then. Huh. Okay, what, what was that? Oh, through there, right. Uh, have I been here yet? Nope, there's monsters. That means no, or yes. Or at least it's on the right path. Monsters generally indicate you're going on the right way. Ah, auto-saving. That also indicates that I'm going down the right path. It never auto-saves if you're going the wrong way. Unless, of course, it's a rubbish game. I hope this game's not rubbish and does that, because that would be bad. Or if it just auto-saves, like, at a certain intervals, I guess. I'm, I'm going into way too many specifics about games and their saving mechanics and shit. I just gotta shoot demons, man. That's what I gotta do. My god, this thing is just wrecking people. You know what? I'm gonna save it for a little while. I've got enough, like, ammo in my machine gun. I might as well use that while it's still, you know, somewhat effective. 
Uh, can I just open this? Oh, I can. I thought because like that's all messed up, it was still locked, but apparently not. Is this open? I guess no, because it's red. Oh, Pinky! What the fuck? Okay, uh, maybe I should use the uh, thing? Yes? No! Okay, I was gonna say maybe I should use the chain gun, but you know what? I can still take him. I can take him. Maybe I can't. Yes, I can. I proved myself. Oh my god, did the Pinky just teleport in? Holy shit. Also, can I just point out the AI of Pinky? It's going directly for me as like an attack, rather than like trying to walk around me and attack like a steel wall or whatever. Like it's not doing any damage to the environment in order to get me. Like it's not trying to destroy the pillars or anything like that. And it's just like, it just goes to show like the opening cutscene of Pinky was fucking rubbish. It's just it's such, so full of lies. Oh, I can't believe id Software would lie to me. I trusted them, man. I trusted them. Um, do I just shoot this and get through here? I guess not. Oh, I guess so. Or maybe that was just some, some other thing. Wow! One, two, three is literally working for like all of these. This is insane. <laughs> Have I hacked the game? Is that what's going on here? Because I think that might be what's going on. Wow. Alpha Labs 4. That's interesting. How many Alpha Labs are there? I was able to locate your position. Cool, I'll pick up the pace then. But on the next part of uh, Dragon Ball Z, I will be doing that rather. Anyway, on that note, thank you for sticking around, everyone. Hope you enjoyed it. And GG.